Apparently this bike will do 900 miles if you turn it off. Well, you can do a thousand, a million miles. You <laughs> yeah. do a million miles if you turn it off. Hey guys, today I am in uh, New York City uh, for a TV shoot that got canceled due to COVID. So, I'm hanging out here with my friend, Vitaly. He runs a YouTube channel called what? Right? Electric Vehicle Space. Electric Vehicle Space. And we're gonna be riding around in these cool spikes. Look at these things. Fat wheels, we have a big battery. This one will do a thousand miles, that's supposed to be. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it'll do like, what, like 50 miles or something? Uh, 30 miles? I, I think it'll we'll get maybe 20, 25 miles of my weight, but you have to see the screen. This feature is really awesome. We'll show we're gonna them. be testing these, put them through the paces. And fun, have fun if you don't risk your life with these e-bikes during all that rush hour traffic right there. <laughs> This is Washington Square. Uh, it's just a little park here where people come. There's this arch here, but that thing over there. So in the movie, I Am Legend, the doctor, I think lived in number 10 or 11, one of these ones. One of these doors right here, that's where he lived and he had it all rigged up so that the uh, if the zombies came in, then all this exterior would blow up. Remember, he had a bunch of like lights in here and explosions and stuff. And yeah, that's the apartment right there, which is no longer an apartment. I think it's owned by the university. Uh, so it's like dorm rooms. So that's that part of that building where they shot that movie. It looks a little bit different, but almost you can't get up here unless you're like on an e-bike or you come up this way. So we're sitting here, and we've been riding these electric bikes uh, all day today. Well, most of the day. Most of the day, yeah. There's a story in the news, not like last week, uh, and it hit a couple of the big vlogs that said that there's so many of these e-bikes that are catching fire uh, that maybe New York's gonna start putting a bunch of restrictions. You're gonna have to register them. And so maybe they're gonna, like only allow some to be registered and not. So there's gonna be illegal e-bikes now from now on. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough. And the, the reason because of that is because a lot of people are using like cheap e-bikes, like super cheap bikes, right? Like, I don't know. Cheap like, batteries, they probably mod cheap. them. I see a lot of uh, Chinese uh, delivery guys, they have uh -huh. two, three batteries on the frame, on the back, on <laughs> the front, tape around, like so. Total DIY reach. hackery, yeah. which is, I'm okay with that, right? But I think so much of that is happening that it's actually causing a lot of fires. And dude, like you see them, there are hundreds, maybe th there are thousands of e-bikes. Everybody's, Everywhere. almost everybody's got e-bikes now. They're like, 
There's scooters more, also, a lot of scooters. There's more e-bikes than regular bikes now, right? Oh like yeah, before, even the city bikes are electric. Even that. the city bikes are electric. So the, that's gonna be a problem where a bunch of them are catching fire. And now, yeah, now the law is gonna get involved. And I actually got, the writer reached out to me and they wanted to know like what my position was, uh, was on this. And I, you know, I thought about it for a little while and I was like, well, the problem is cheap you know components and cheap batteries and cheap you know it's like it doesn't matter i know they were trying to say like the diy thing was the problem but like cheap is cheap no matter if it's you do it on your garage or if you do it you know in, in some factory in china like it doesn't matter cheap is cheap so if you're using cheap components if you're if you have a uh, subpar you know craftsmanship or whatever it's gonna get a tire that's what it is and so uh what we do on our diy thing like the batteries that you guys buy from me they're good quality batteries. They're all Samsung. They're all uh, uh, Panasonic, LG. They're only brand name batteries usually. And you test them and you build good quality PCBs, high stuff. So yeah, we do a bunch of that stuff. So you could buy some untested ones, but at the very least, you're getting high quality stuff. So these are batteries that have been bought by multinational, like big corporations, and hopefully they've done their homework and they put good components in there and stuff now we're just repurposing using them for some other thing but they're for the most part we don't sell un unbranded unnamed chinese cells you know with cheap quality because they're we know we're gonna be trouble you know and we're getting more and more into testing them so that we can weed out all the bad ones because you know they're they're not everything's 100 you know not everything's good so we're kind of doing that stuff and that's an interesting thing that we saw today. I am here in New York. I get to see all the e-bikes. And I didn't comment on, on, I didn't get back to that rider because I didn't have time. Uh, he wanted an answer by like the next day or something. He hit me up one day. And then I thought, ah, I don't know if I have an opinion about that or whatever. But I thought, man, yeah, maybe I could do it. But I kind of, I just wasn't able to do it. So now the story hit the vlogs. A couple of big outlets hit it. And everybody knows about it. We've I've even talked about people here that were talking about it because they came up to us and saw these bikes and how fun they are. Uh, they're pretty amazing. You need them. Get one. <laughs> Go check out his channel. He does a bunch of reviews. You're currently reviewing these two, right? Yeah, the Polarna and the, the Okai. Polarna. Okai. Okai is that all those batteries that we have on our website? Uh, I can't show the bikes maybe. I don't from know. the uh, yeah. scooters. This is the same brand. But now they're making e-bikes, or maybe they've always been making. It's just they that's the same brand. Scooters and uh, they're getting now into like uh, mopeds and motorcycles. So there you get, go. They have cool stuff coming. There you go. This is a Polarna e-bike that I was using earlier today. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got adjustable uh, suspension here. So this one has uh, up and down and you can adjust the stiffness, which is pretty cool because it was too soft and I stiffened it a little bit. Here's the other thing. When you're pressing on the brakes, it also has this little lever here that allows you to put a little bit of lash on it which is very cool because my hands were getting tired from uh, having to reach all the way up and keeping them open like this. And so when you're riding around hard, then you give it a little bit more lash. Did you see this feature? 
So, like, my hands were cramping up earlier because I had to keep them open like this and then pressing them. Uh -huh. So you give it a little bit more lash here, and now all of a sudden you can keep them like this. So mm. you're gonna just wear the thing ends ends up. So you can ride it like this. But it's not on. loose. It doesn't. It's not gonna fall. I don't think so. I think it's just an adjustment. So you could do that. I didn't know that. And then your hands doesn't get because now you can ride. So this this bike comes uh, M4 and M6. And this is the new version of M6, which is more expensive, bigger battery, and oh. they come with 750 watts. This is 1,000 watts, so oh, it puts more power. So it's the upgraded version, and it has nicer paint. Like, it's everything is nicer. But they had Logan brakes, hydraulics. Those are really good brakes. I never seen this le lever, so it doesn't look as good as Logan. But I never saw this on Logan brakes, so this is something new. Yeah, you can just where that lever Pretty ends cool. up being, and it's not gonna fall, right? I don't think so. Yeah, it looks, it looks, and let's say you can unscrew it all the way, you can take it out or not? Let's see what happens if you take it out. I think it'll just back out and then that's it. And then you don't have no brakes because yeah. you press it all the way, right? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't. It doesn't fall, yeah. No, literally, it's just an adjustment. How far do you want to squeeze your hand to... Uh... That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish I would have figured out that earlier because my hand was hurting. Oh, <laughs> really? Because I have to like open it all the way up and... Well, and... I have uh, bigger fingers and hands, so it's good yeah. that you can just do it to fingers, you know? Yeah. Because when you go fast, if you take like that and you hit the bump, right, you remove your hand, you can lose control and kind of fall yeah. at 30 miles an hour. So having two fingers, you can really like secure, you know? Yeah. That's why mountain bikes have a uh, turn, so you can do like one finger actually. And oh, you see when you press, it doesn't hit your... It doesn't hit your other one. Oh, there you go. Recording you right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. What brand is that? Ray-Ban? Ray-Ban, yeah. Is it good quality? Nah, it kind of sucks, but it's video. And I just have to press the little button. I think it does like 30 seconds or a minute or something, yeah. And then and then you just, yeah, it's just for quick little videos. Look at that bike! Yeah, it's nice. I had the tires. You try to pull for me? I have to lower that seat because you're like, like a foot taller than me. More than a foot taller than me. How tall are you? 